I'm Matt Finn in Eagle Pass, Texas. Uh, Lieutenant Chris Alavarez joins us. Always love having Chris on because he tells it like it is. Uh, Texas Department of Public Safety. Lieutenant, I, I caught that from Beto O'Rourke, and I, I try not to play politics at all on this show. Um, but that one is just a numbers game here. So if you have buses being shipped out of El Paso by a Democratic mayor and you're angry about that kind of thing out of, out of Governor Abbott, um, then you should be angry no matter what the bus or who's commissioning them, shouldn't you? You're absolutely right, Neil. And we know for a fact that El Paso has seen a massive surge in uh, immigrants that are coming across the border. They're averaging 1,500 a day, which they have never experienced that before. And not only that, Neil, but when we talk about cruel and humane treatment of these migrants, some of these migrants are sleeping in the streets in tents, you know, adults and kids and nothing. There's no outcry. There's no outrage um, from those officials in, in regards to that. But yet when Texas, and again, we talked about this too earlier this week, um, when Texas is busting these migrants from Texas to these sanctuary cities, it's a problem. But we know for a fact, Neil, that these migrants are being treated uh, fairly. They are being, they are being treated um, as far as, you know, uh, within the law, transporting these migrants from Texas to these sanctuary cities. And they are getting, they are getting good treatment once they get to these sanctuary cities. But again, you cannot compare, you know, apples and oranges as far as, you know, what we're doing and as far as what El Paso is doing, because again, we have to, if we're going to criticize, you know, one party, we're going to criticize one initiative, we have to criticize everything as, as a whole. Yeah, and again, uh, and you and I try to skew the whole politics here, but this is coming from a, a Democratic mayor pro tem in Eagle Pass, Yolanda Ramon, talking about this problem. This is from the Democrats. I can tell you one thing, they're not being lied to. I mean, they'll, you run into them at the gas stations, you know, they just want to go somewhere. They, they'll tell you, I just want to go further up north, you know. We, they don't even know where they're at sometimes, they'll ask. Where is, you know, how far is San Antonio, how far is Houston, how far is New York? It's a crisis. Bottom line, it's a crisis. And uh, you've been saying that. And now, of course, we have the DEA wanting to get to the bottom of the fentanyl problem because it is a crisis, they say. But what's happening at the border that's creating that fentanyl crisis is not a border uh, or a crisis. So I'm at a loss. Well, I mean, you know, Neil, and we have to look at everything that we've been doing as far as the state of, you know, state of Texas and what Governor Abbott's been doing. Just most recently, he signed an executive order to identify these Mexican cartels as foreign terrorist organizations, something that's never been done before. But yet now we're waiting for the federal government to see what they're going to do as far as if they're going to acknowledge the fact that these are foreign terrorist organizations that are manufacturing this deadly poison that's killing tens of thousands of Americans uh, every single year. And not only that, now we're seeing this rainbow colored fentanyl that's coming across our borders. And as Halloween approaches, you know, one thing that we have to do as parents is educate and spread this awareness to our children because Again, you know, this, this deadly poison is plaguing our country and nothing's being done about it. Now, we can do all we can as a state to go after these organizations here in the state of Texas. But again, the federal government needs to step in. They need to put pressure on the Mexican government to go after these Mexican cartels to stop this drug, this lethal poison from entering our country. Wild. Uh, Lieutenant Chris Olivares, always good seeing you, Chris. Thank you for taking the time on the weekend. I know you have a 24-7 job and a 24-7 headache. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.